Welcome to the program. I'm Mark Imperial. This segment's being brought to you by BooksGrowBusiness.com. It's the place where busy professionals publish to get their books done and educate their consumers, grow their businesses, and leave a legacy. Finances are on the mind of many Americans during this pandemic, and we're doing a series of spotlights on remarkable advisors from across the country. Joining me on this segment is Christian Hughes. He's a financial advisor out of Scottsdale, Arizona with First Command Financial Services. Christian, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mark. Tell us a little bit about your work and specifically, who are the types of folks that you like to help? So uh, I'm retired military. So um, uh, the company that I'm with, we we work with military, we work with veterans and young military people that not, don't necessarily have uh, a lot of capital coming in to invest, uh, but they want to start small. And so we we don't chase with wealth, we build wealth. And so we typically work with with um, uh, military families, but here in Scottsdale, not a lot of military families. So I work with retirees and particularly uh, I'm focusing on the uh, the youth, uh, uh, education, uh, educating the youth in how to invest and what to invest in for long term uh, financial success. Well, thank you for your service, sir. And, you know, as they say, every little bit counts. Uh, so, you know, that's one of the myths or misconceptions I hear that people think they don't have enough to, to plan with. So why bother? And, and speaking of that, with this pandemic, has this shined a spotlight on your field of work at all? Uh, are there, What kind of questions are you getting these days? Are they different than what you've heard before? What the pandemic did was to highlight the need to have savings, the need to have investments, uh, the need to have insurance. And so uh, I don't know if the questions are, the questions aren't necessarily in a di any different, but uh, there's more of a focus. People have a, a, a heightened sense of, hey, I need to get this done. This is not something that I can afford to wait on. So that heightened sense of urgency, for sure, I, we hear that in a lot of different fields. Uh, what are they when people do finally reach out to you and say, "Hey, I need to get you know my financial house in order"? What are the biggest, most common questions on their minds? Will I have enough to retire? Uh, that is what I'm running into because the you know it used to be that you work hard and you you would automatically just know that you would have enough to retire. Uh, but now people are doubting Social Security and they want to make sure, do I have enough to retire? One. And two, uh, will I leave a legacy? Uh, will, will I, can I leave something for my children? Can I leave something for my family members? Are there any, you know, you know, attached to that, linked to that, are there any myths or misconceptions out there in your field that may keep people from success or even getting started and getting their financial houses in order? Well, there are lots of misconceptions. One is that you need to have a lot of money to invest, right? You can start with, with a, a hundred dollars a month and you can start and just build. Um, that is probably the biggest one. And, and the adjustment that it takes to, to putting money away and not being able to see it or touch it. That is another thing that people have a fear about. Yeah, and if you think about it, it's really taking money out of your one pocket and putting it in the other pocket. It's just a different pocket. <laughs> and, and is that a big myth that people think, I don't have any money, I don't want to lose it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because uh, long-term growth, it's like planting a seed. Uh, you don't necessarily know when that seed is going to sprout, but you can't dig up the seed because it may very well be about to shoot through the, through the soil. So how do people, I mean, a, a lot of things on their mind is, you know, I don't want to put my money at risk. How can people be more assured that their money's not at risk when they work with a financial advisor? Well, there are a lot of things. So I use the, the analogy of a roller coaster. If you're in the market, you're on the roller coaster. If you're young, you can afford to be risk. You know, if you think about when we were young, we used to probably ride in the front seat of the, of the, of the, you know, of the roller coaster. You know, as you get older, you want to move closer to the back. There are some things at the back of the roller coaster, like annuities that have guarantees um, or protections. I won't say guarantees, but protections so that if the if there is a downturn in the market, uh, you can avoid substantial losses. So there are some things and then some some more conservative investments like bonds as well that will produce because they are not 
they are not based on stocks and um, the volatility of the stock market. When you start to work with folks, uh, have you noticed any glaring and common pitfalls or mistakes that people seem to make all the over and over again that you can help people prevent? Getting into credit card debt, not understanding how detrimental uh, the role that interest, especially high interest rates, the role that it plays. Because if you're paying, if you have a thousand dollar debt and you're paying, just say, for example, two hundred dollars in interest a month, that's taking two hundred dollars away from what you could be saving. So switching people's mindset to where I can I can invest and uh, I don't need to have credit. Boy, when you said that, that made me immediately think of that one hundred to two hundred dollars that goes to interest. When you really look at that statement, and I just you just said you could start with as little as a hundred a month, instead of putting it away and having it grow, you're just giving it away. Exactly. So, Christian, what inspired you to to get into financial services, and how did you start, you know, helping people? Uh, so, with me, it was uh, it's this is my purpose. Uh, so I'm a man of faith. And um, when I was getting ready to retire from the Air Force, my financial advisor asked me if, if I had ever thought about doing this. And I told him no. Uh, but I had a conversation with God and, and I said, OK, God, well, what am I going to be when I grow up? And he said, well, I gave you your purpose. Uh, and the, the, the things I have three personal cornerstones, faith, family and finances. Uh, and he had given me that, that I had received that in 2008. And this was 2015 when I was getting ready to retire. And he said, that's your purpose. And so uh, knowing that, uh, you know, you've seen books with purpose driven life, when you when you know what your purpose is, then you can have joy in, in fulfilling that and doing that. Right on. When somebody is really considering working with an advisor for the first time, but they just don't know where to start. What do you find are the most important things that they should consider and what should they, you know, look for an advisor that they're considering working with? Uh, there are a lot of good advisors, but at the at the tip of that spear is uh, having an advisor. It's a personal relationship, right? Because this is someone because there is no aspect of your life that finances do not touch. So you need to be able to trust the person. Uh, you need to be able to talk to the person. Uh, you need to be able to, to feel comfortable because a lot we all have similar products that that um, you know that will help if you if you if you invest. Uh, but it's it's that personal relationship uh, and 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 just being able to trust the person that you're that you're giving your money to. For folks tuning in today, if they'd like to connect with you, how do they find you? Connect with you and learn more. Well, I can. So my, um, I do have a Facebook page. Um, it's just Christian, uh, C spell my name, C H R I S T I E N, uh, Hughes, uh, and then also LinkedIn, but, uh, they can contact me at, um, C N Hughes. That's C N H U G H E S at first command.com or call me at 480-386-7005. Christian, this has been terrific. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to share with my audience today and give, give great insights. I wish you continued success for you and for all of your clients. Thank you, Mark. Have a great day. That was Christian Hughes. He's a financial advisor with First Command Financial Services. And this segment's been brought to you by BooksGrowBusiness.com. It's the place where busy professionals get their books done so they can educate their consumers, grow their practices, and leave a legacy. That's all for now. I'm Mark Imperial, and thanks for joining me.